been a while. Time for a what's old video from the Gate City Pick. Been a while since we made a video, uh, so we're going to come at you with a what's old video from one of our eBay stores. Just a few stuff that we've sold. Not everything. Of course, you want to see everything we've sold from the Gate City Picker store. You can go to eBay and search out our store. So with that, we'll get into the first item. Okay, first item we're going to look at here. I sold some stamps for $30 plus the shipping. This is about 50 or 60 stamps or so. I believe it's uh, about 10 pounds. Put it in a large flat rate envelope, uh, not envelope, uh, chipping box and sent them off. As, as you can see, these are all brand new, uh, never used. Uh, there might have been one or two that were slightly used. But again, good sale here. I think I paid less than about two bucks for all these and sold it for $30 plus the shipping. Next one is this women's Shabam green leather western motorcycle button-up vest. Uh, again, 100% leather, green front here. Uh, inside's kind of like a little, like a satin almost type material. I uh, picked this up in Williamsburg, Virginia for two or three dollars at a thrift up there uh, during uh, our first honeymoon getaway. Uh, we went up there right after we got married back in July. And so I've had it pretty good while. Again, $29.99 plus the shipping. All right, these next ones I'm going to get into. I bought a lot of about, I want to say 80 or 80 or 90 Zippo lighters or Zippo style lighters. Uh, there was mostly Zippo lighters. And so these next few sales are all going to be uh, what came from that lot. Paid about 200 bucks. I've made well more than that. Uh, these are just kind of what sold over the last month. The first one that sold here is a 1987 solid brass lighter. And uh, this one sold for $30 plus the shipping. And show you a few extra pictures here from it. Um, this one wasn't in that great of a condition, but they're still desirable, still collectible. The next few pictures coming up here is going to show you some, you know, rust spots or greening. Um, you know, if I really, really worked at it, polished it up, might have gotten, you know, a bit more. But again, dealing with 80 or 90 or so. Uh, I'm going to show you how to also uh, identify the year and make for these ones. Um, I'll start with this next one here. Um, this was a Marlboro one. This is a uh, special one. This also you can see here. This one was engraved, and um, still really nice condition. Again, if I probably found a brass cleaner, uh, brass polisher, uh, clean it up. But still, you know, really good sale here. You know, fifty-nine dollars, almost sixty dollars. Uh, had kind of a little embossment here. But here, uh, let me show you something here. This picture coming up. Uh, shows you here that L, Zippo, and then the Noru numeral 6. Um, it's real simple. If you download a picture or something right off of the internet here, this is one I got exactly from the Zippo website. This is how you help identify the years. Of course, the ones that uh, are more desirable or older uh, use the uh, dots and the diagonal or straight up and down lines. The more, I want to say, modern or uh uh, newer ones will use the letter code uh, with the uh, numbers at the end of it. And uh, the kind of, you know, 80s and 90s ones are going to have the letter code code with the Roman numeral. Again, this is just a real simple thing. I screenshotted from the Zippo website. So you can see here this lighter here. This one has L and then, of course, the uh, Zippo brand in the middle and then the Roman numeral 6. If you go back to our chart here, you'll see that, you know, the letter L and the Roman numeral six tells you that it came from 1990. So that's just a real simple, easy way to help, you know, identify what years the uh, Zippo uh, are made from and uh, when they were made. So, again, that was a pretty decent sale, $60 uh, for a, a Zippo Marlboro branded uh, engraved to lighter. These next two come in collectible tins. First one is the Smoke and Joe Racing one from 1994. And again, use that chart that I showed you in the previous one to help identify the month and the year that it was made. Um, as you can see here, uh, this one went for $30 plus the shipping. And tin, a little bit dirty. Uh, I did clean it as best I can, but I don't want to really rub too hard 
uh, on the with any type of uh, abrasive or anything like that because of course you know you don't want to scratch into the paint or anything like that but as you can see here the uh, lighter itself is in really nice condition other than the bad bright picture that I put on it um, with the light in the background glaring off of it anyways still pretty good sale here um, and it was a the Smoke and Joe one for $30 plus the ship in and this one is also a Camel branded, but this is just the regular Camel branded. This one comes $19.95. Again, in the, the uh, collectible tin here. Again, tin not in that great of a condition, but get in the lighter. Lighter is really nice. Uh, no scratches, no blemishes on the lighter. A few smudges from handling it. Probably could have used a good clean in before I took those pictures. Uh, but again, really nice condition. Uh, really, uh, I pretty sure that orange band uh, was not broke on the last two so that means that these were pretty much brand new and again really really good sale here uh, this one went for forty dollars plus the shipping so again uh, doing the math on the bulk buy I had I got two to three dollars in each one of these lighters and the last one we'll talk about is this vintage brass uh, Campbell uh, trench lighter uh, again solid brass trench lighter uh, Sold this one $27.99 plus the shipping. Again, came from that big a lot. Um, this one wasn't in all that great of condition. Had a few scratches and a little bit of nicks and all. Still cleaned it up uh, as best I could. Uh, again, probably, you know, probably could have used a, you know, a couple better pictures and maybe some brass cleaner here. Probably might been able to get a little bit more out of it. But still a pretty good sale there. Again, 2 to $3 for I paid uh, per piece. Turn that into about 28 bucks. Take that all day long. All right, this is a Disney Pixar Doug the Dog from the movie Up Plush. Uh, pretty big size plush, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I paid a dollar twenty-five for this at Goodwill. Uh, new with tags, uh, pretty good sale here. Take that twenty bucks or dollar twenty-five and a twenty dollars plus the shipping. Uh, do that every time. This is a uh, Disney button-up shirt, uh, kind of specialty type one for. Uh, Mickey Mouse surfing instructor, real nice uh, button-up shirt. Got a really, really nice graphic and embroider on the back here. If you see here, well, I don't know if that's embroidered. That could be screen printed. Let's see here. Nope, that's an embroidery. So, real nice shirt. That sold for $26, $27 plus the shipping. All right, how many times have you walked past something like this in your local thrift store? These are those uh, costume sewing patterns for, you know, making costumes and dresses and anything like that uh, I ended up with uh, two or three of these and I actually didn't want to list it I was thinking about just putting them in a yard sale or taking them down to the flea market or something like that uh, but then just kind of ran out of some inventory to list and just decided well let me check these out let me see what they're at I found this one this one goes for pretty good money here uh, as you can see there sold it for I believe it was 43 got the pictures in the way here Yep, $43.99 plus the shipping. Actually, I took a best offer on that for $40 plus the shipping. Uh, this was a Craigslist buy. I bought, I uh, want to say about 15 or so models. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for them, but I know, knowing me, I probably didn't pay more than about 20, 30 bucks for all those models. Um, and so this is pretty good sale here, $25 plus the shipping. Uh, each one of these, the reason I believe I picked them up so cheap is the boxes are torn or smashed, but they were still intact. Uh, either there were like uh, one or two pieces that were broken off the frame already and just in the box loosely, or they were uh, in a bag or something like that. But I went through a counter for each piece. And so this is just one of the models that sold over the last month. Again, $25. All right, so these two shirts I've actually had for, I want to say, more than about a year or so. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, we decided to kind of go through some of our clothing inventory and uh, go through and purge out some stuff that just wasn't working, just hadn't sold yet. And um, found these two. I had these two individually listed. And then so what I decided to do was do a lot, do a bundle lot here. And as soon as I put this bundle lot up, not... I want to say a day or two after it, uh, somebody uh, believe bought it for full price. Again, the exact same shirt, same size, same everything. So it just made sense rather than just kind of donate it back or uh, take it to the flea market. Uh, just make a lot of it. Again, size medium, not a real common size. So I think that's why I kind of sat for a little bit, didn't uh, 
Uh, it didn't sell individually, but as soon as I put it in that lot, they went right away within a couple of days. Again, $40 plus the shipping. Okay, I picked up this men's Calvin Klein two-button suit um, at a meetup in Charlotte, North Carolina, Ooh, almost a year ago. Uh, I think I paid $5 for this suit. Um, took a few offers on it for a while, and then uh, nothing really substantial came of any of those offers. Um, and then just kind of interest on it kind of died out. And then last month sometime, uh, I believe I took an offer for $45 plus the shipping. Um, again, the old inventory sat around, uh, wasn't really doing anything, wasn't really moving. So again, didn't mind selling that, $45 plus the shipping. And this last one, uh, my, one of my favorite sales for the week, not just because it's such a high dollar, but because of what it is, this uh, vintage, and it is vintage, I dated it back to about 1998 or so, uh, the, a vintage Patagonia uh, convertible uh, black suitcase bag. Uh, it's like a garment bag, as you can see here. Uh, a lot of zippers, uh, everything worked really nice. Zippers, no snags, no cuts, no you know, tears or anything like that in the material or in the uh, zippers that weren't torn away. Uh, they've moved uh, freely, they weren't torn up or anything like that. Uh, again, backpack straps here, as you can see. So just kind of a real versatile bag. Um, took offers on it, all kinds of offers. Nobody really ever uh, sent anything uh, substantial on the offer. Um, and I think I started to send offers to buyer on it. And I think that's eventually what it sold for. Uh, I believe it took a hundred bucks for it. Paid $3.99 at the Goodwill for this. So pretty good sale there. Almost $4 into $100. Again, that's good money for me. Just a few of our solds over the last month. I believe that was 14 items. Again, you want to see all of our items that were sold on our Gate City Picker stores? Of course, head on over to good old eBay and you can see everything that sold. If you could, please uh, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you learned something about one of the items that I presented here today. And as always, have a good picking day.